We start the first meeting of Meet Science and Technology. This is the course that we will discuss throughout this semester. I think you already did a short introduction one or two semesters ago, right? Before. So today we will do um, the whole course. And this is my full name, Le Tung Thing. Okay, if you don't know yet. And this is my channel on YouTube. Again, if you uh, do not subscribe yet and you go there you subscribe because uh, all the meeting that i have with you i will post and as well i think uh, after each meeting i normally have question and answer sessions normally i ask very fast you answer very fast and then i also will post to this channel but maybe uh, in a like kind of private video or something like that so only only the subscribers can see the link because those parts belong to question and answer is not uh, the content of the course that uh, other people can watch okay so these are the chapters that we will go along together for several months we have first the introduction on meat production and consumption chapter one what is meat production means the volume of meats that the whole world produce, for example. And the consumption, how much do people in the world cons consume meat and meat products? This is just like appetizer of the course. Just stories, some figures, some numbers for you to memorize. So you have uh, some, um, how you call it, some knowledge to, to join in conversation, whatever. And then we have chapter 2 to chapter 5, we can call this meat science, okay, belong to science of meat. We discuss in chapter 2 the composition and the structure of meat. Composition means what component are there in meat and how many percentage they occupy. The structure, and we look into detail how. And chapter 3, we discuss the slaughter of animals. Slaughter means giết mổ động vật. In order to obtain meat, we need to slaughter animals. And then in chapter 3, we discuss important steps how to slaughter them, uh, make them into carcasses and make them into meat. Chapter 4, we will talk about postmortem changes. Post means after, mortem means death, after death changes. So, what are the changes occur in the carcasses? Carcass means the half of the body, the thang thật, the quay thật. Okay. When you slaughter a pig, for example, and you have two carcasses, like two halves of the body, it's called carcass. This is the term that you will listen time to time, again and again. Okay, so what are the changes that occur in the carcass and this will convert the muscle into meat this is also a very important chapter so we know them how to control them and chapter five we talk about meat microbiology did you study uh, dairy technology already not yet okay so in chapter five we talk about microbiology micro mean micro very small huh? super small Bio means living organism. Logic means a study. A study on very small living organisms. La vision vacuum. So we talk about microbiology that's uh, related to meat. So, so this part, the chapter I told you, uh, we can call them meat science. And then from here, chapter 6 to chapter 14, we can call them meat technology, technology or processes. Processes, like what? Okay. The processes that we use to process meat products. So chapter six, we talk about chilling and freezing. What is the difference between chilling and freezing? Chilling, you lower the temperature of food or ingredient to below somehow 10, but still above. Freezing point, above freezing point to 7 degrees C, for example, from 1 to 7. And freezing means you lower the temperature to below freezing point. 
And the food also will change the state. The water will change from liquid to solid. And then you store your material under frozen condition. Before we use that, we have to thaw them again. So we have to study thawing. Thawing means rã đông. Freezing, lạnh đông. Okay. Okay. And then chapter 7, we discuss about curing. Curing là ướp thịt, là ướp muối. It's a process that we add salt, nitride, some herbs, sugar, and other components into meat. We call it marination. Marinating. Marinate the meat, curing of the meat. So this process will help improve the taste improve the flavor but also improve the preservation what is preservation is how long we can keep the product bảo quản yeah we improve the preservation we improve the taste and flavor sensorial quality and so on chapter 8 we discuss grinding what is the objective of grinding to reduce the the size to make small meat particles, we reduce the size so we can go into processing of certain meat products, for example, breakfast sausages. Or you can uh, process lap su, it's a popular meat product in Vietnam. After grinding, you can. And then, chapter 9 emulsification. What is emulsification? It's a process you make an emulsion. What is an emulsion? It's a dispersion of two immiscible phases. What is immiscible? The two phases, they don't go along with each other. They are not soluble in each other. Immiscible là không tan lặng. Two phases, for example, you have the fat and you have water. These two phases are not immiscible, so you disperse one into another, so you obtain an emulsion is a process to obtain an emulsion, meaning to disperse maybe fat droplets in water phase. And this is necessary to make, for example, hot dog, you know, hot dog, hot dog sausage. To have a very fine structure, the product, fine structure. So there are no visible particles. You don't see visible particles anymore. And then chapter 10, we discuss thermal processing. What is thermal processing? It's a process we use what? Heat. Okay. What is the main objective? To make the food ready to eat. Okay. Because we don't want to eat raw ingredients. And especially heat treatment, we use to destroy. Destroy what? Pathogen to make product safe to consume. And you will also destroy spoilage microorganism to make to extend the cell line. Okay, so those are the main objectives of thermal processing. If you want to have a review, you go back to food engineering. I already post on my channel in Vietnamese food engineering chapter three. Okay. And uh, chapter 11, we do fermentation, we discuss fermentation. What is fermentation? It's also a process that but we apply. What do we apply? HC. What is HC? Starter, coater. Means a microorganism, the good one. We use starter coater to do the changes in a positive way. To make name cure, to make fermented sausage and so on. Okay? So fermentation. In making fermented products, it's important that we have the starter coater to grow, but we inhibit the grow of, of what? We call this undesired microorganism. We want to inhibit them, but we stimulate the grow of starter coater. That's the main thing we should do. And then chapter 12, we will discuss smoking. What is smoking in Vietnamese? Hook thuk. Okay. Or uh, in processing, we call it some kind. Actually, smoking hút thuốc là em đang xong khói cái phổi của em. Hai cái này nó tương đồng với nhau. Yeah. Có nghĩa là mình học cái chương xong khói là mình xong khói thịt. Hút thuốc có nghĩa là mình đang áp dụng quá trình xong khói lên phổi của mình. 
người hút thuốc nhiều nhìn cái phổi giống như phổi mốt thịt xong khó vậy đó ok so this chapter we will talk about smoking smoking that we apply the smoke the meat product will absorb smoke component why why we do smoking what are the objective generally the smoke component will improve sensorial quality we make the product taste good look good good tractors and so on and also the smoke components can also increase the cell life so this i will just explain briefly so when we go into detail chapter and chapter you can already know a bit uh, information before you start chapter 13 we talk about drying what is the main objective of drying okay what do we remove when we do drying we remove water so we reduce what a product water activity of the product and then you can increase the cell life when you reduce water activity you inhibit the growth of microorganism then you increase the cell life besides you also improve sensorial quality when you dry improve the structure the flavor and so on and then chapter 14 we talk about packaging what are the main objectives of packaging packaging là đóng gói why do we do this to protect the products to prevent the contamination of product with the uh, agent from outside to also carry information labeling and so on right so after the processes that we would discuss now we go to chapter 15 this is a very long chapter okay so we need to combine the processes that we discuss into a certain sequence to make a certain product we discuss the principle the effects of processes first and then you have a background to go into typical meat products normally this chapter is for you to work maybe you read at home and you understand even before i teach because you already have the background knowledge on the processes and chapter 16 haccp in meat processing what is haccp has as analysis of critical control points okay so i am I don't expect to teach you everything about HACCP. This, these are just some tips because you already study the principle of HACCP. This is just uh, some tip how to apply efficiently in meat processing. Okay, after chapter 5, we will have midterm exam. From chapter 1 to chapter 5, you will feel so relaxed when you study and uh, enjoy what you're studying. But then, the later part has become very heavy. Why? Because there are so many courses you are studying as well, not only this course. And you have more assignments and so on at the end of semester. So uh, I just warn you that this course is quite heavy. How to study well? You need to read at home first. Read a little bit. If you read, maybe you read 10 slides. This is already half full a lot when i start a new chapter you read some slide ahead you have vocabulary you have some basic concept definition and then when i start teaching here you can follow easily and you don't feel so heavy to be here right read at home and do you have the slide the handouts with you already do not bring them uh, in a very crowded way okay you maybe bring maximum two slides per page so there is enough space to take note directly on the slide. You don't need to write in an extra notebook because then it's difficult to find the information again when you review for the exam. For the midterm, you have around 20 to 25 percent of the final evaluation. This is midterm, and you have another part: laboratory exercises. You do the exercises in the lab. Around 10 percent of the final score. And then you have final exam, it's the remaining. And in this slide, you will see the references for the course. So many. These are the books, uh, articles, and, and so on. Depending on chapter to chapter, but these are the, all the references for the whole course that you will follow. You can go and search uh, in the internet if some books are free, or you can check in 
the university library. Have you ever been to the library of the university? Yes? Okay, that's good.